the breaking news. Unfortunately, it is not good out of the Louisiana coast where oil has started washing up from that massive spill in the Gulf of Mexico. This morning, fish, birds, other wildlife and one of the country's richest sources of seafood are all in serious danger. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is in Venice, Louisiana with the latest. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning to you, Maggie. This uh, spill keeps spreading, keeps moving closer to Louisiana's fragile coast because no one has found a way to slow it. And this could be the disaster. The disaster truly makes landfall and waves of oil start washing up in coastal communities like this one. Even before the first drop of oil hit the coast, Louisiana declared a state of emergency. This massive spill in the Gulf of Mexico, 600 miles around and spreading, potentially could become America's worst environmental disaster in decades. We have over 100,000 feet of boom and, and they're working nonstop protecting all the areas that, that we can get to that are ecologically and economically sensitive. British Petroleum has mobilized more than 1,100 workers, 76 vessels and 400,000 feet of boom trying to corral the oil and protect miles of fragile shoreline. Eight days after the Deepwater Horizon oil rig went down, this disaster is far worse than first believed. Coast Guard officials now estimate as many as 5,000 barrels of oil pour into the Gulf every day. That's five times higher than earlier estimates. They've also identified a third leak, 5,000 feet underwater, in an oil pipeline called a riser. It could take 90 days to plug the leak, and by then, as many as 19 million gallons could have leaked into the Gulf. Like so many people along the Gulf Coast, sport fisherman Steve Kennedy is worried. No matter how much boom, how many boats they got out there skimming, this, this, there's going to be some come ashore. With the disaster this epic, help is coming from everywhere, from the U.S. military to local shrimpers, asked to use their boats as skimmers off the coast. Once that oil comes in, then it'll be full response mode. So at that point, it'll be more of the, the cleaning up actions. The cost of this mess could be staggering, potentially in the billions, especially to British Petroleum. Six million dollars a day for the cleanup, hundreds of millions of dollars for the lost oil. And the more oil reaches land, the higher that price tag will go. Harry? Mark Strassman in Louisiana this morning. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.